Hello and welcome to the first of four videos to help you improve your understanding of cloud computing and provide you with a basic understanding of cloud computing. This series of videos stems from work between the New York State Board of Elections and the Center for Technology and Government at the University of Albany for the purpose of building technical knowledge and capabilities of New York State's election officials. This first video introduces you to the concept of cloud computing and some commonly used key terms. Many solutions, including those in voter registration and elections management, are moving to the cloud. Cloud computing can offer improved security, mobile access to applications, flexibility to add features and functionality quickly, and even be more affordable but there are many considerations that must be taken into account before procurement. These videos will help you be more informed as you assess the risks and benefits of cloud computing. Video one introduces the concept of cloud computing and some commonly used key terms. Video two discusses the main characteristics, components, and benefits of cloud computing. Video three continues to define key terms of cloud computing and explains the concept of software as a service. And video four builds upon videos one, two, and three to apply what we have learned about cloud computing to specific considerations for voter registration and elections management. So let's begin. There is a lot of talk about the cloud and cloud computing because it has changed a lot about how we use and access technology. Cloud computing can be referred to in many ways. It can be called the cloud, cloud computing, cloud services, or as a service. Any term with as a service added to the end, such as software as a service, indicates it is a cloud offering. So what exactly is the cloud? The term cloud is actually a great fit for cloud computing. A cloud is a mass of water droplets or ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere. Even though at a distance a cloud appears as a single object, it is actually a dense cluster of water molecules. Similarly, cloud computing is a cluster of computers working together in such a way that it appears to be one giant computing resource. For example, when we watch a video on Netflix or Amazon, thousands of computers are being used to provide this service. To us, it looks like a single website or mobile app, but it's actually many computers working together. And just like we see many types of clouds in the sky, there are different types of cloud services. If you watch a video on Netflix, use Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram, share photos or files on Dropbox or Shutterfly, use Zoom for video meetings, or use Google Docs, then you are using the cloud. These are just a few common examples of cloud services we use every day. In elections, many states use cloud computing for election night results reporting and online voter registration. So we see a growing number of election staff also using cloud computing each day. Much of the discussion around cloud computing refers to who owns and manages the technology and the data. Certain terms come up fairly often when talking about cloud computing, even at a high level. It will be helpful for you to have a basic understanding of these technologies to participate in cloud computing discussions. These terms are data centers, on-premise, servers and storage, also referred to as hardware, and applications and platforms, also referred to as software. A data center is a facility that houses an organization's IT operations and equipment. It is a group of computers for the purposes of storing and disseminating data and applications. A data center can be on-premise or on-prem, which means the data center is located in one of your buildings. You likely have a data center on site. Sometimes they're in a closet in an office. Because data centers house an organization's most critical and proprietary assets, data centers are vital in the continuity of daily operations. Data centers have hardware called servers. Servers are computers which store and serve data and applications. Cloud computing is, at its core, massive data centers that are run and managed by companies like Amazon, Microsoft, 
and Google. We said that data centers store and serve up applications. Platforms and applications are both software. This software runs on servers in data centers. Platforms are tools that help IT developers to build applications, as an example. Applications, also called apps, are software bundles that provide a specific function. We use software applications all the time in our daily lives. Email, Zoom, and Microsoft Word are examples of applications. In elections, companies like NTS Data Services, NoInc, and NTIR provide software applications for voter registration and election management and election night reporting. These terms may seem confusing, especially when we are trying to think of them as part of cloud computing. That's okay. We are just beginning to understand cloud computing and just starting to introduce you to these technical terms. We will continue to revisit and explain these terms as we progress in our understanding of cloud computing. In video two, we will provide more explanation and several analogies to learn and understand more about cloud.